I'm going to give you a coin. I yeah. will also give you an antibacterial wipe, should you request it. <laughs> Thank you. All I want you to do is place the coin behind your back, please. Behind my back. Try to give yeah. nothing away, but hold your hand straight out in front of you like this. Give nothing away. Just say yes both times. Does that make sense? Yes. That was perfect, Harry, right. Is the coin in this hand? Yes. Is the coin in this hand? Yes. Now, when he said yes for real, when he meant it, his eyebrows raised slightly. Really? Your nose is also pointing slightly here, so I believe it's in this hand. Turn it over, let me see. Yes. Wow. Yes, there it is. OK, now, I want to try this with the three of you as well. What I'd love you to do, Mel, place the coin behind your back. Everyone on this side of the room, think of a simple colour. In the middle, think of any animal. And over here, think of any name. Hold your hand straight out, Mel, facing me. Shout those colours nice and loud in three, two, one, go! <laughs> white or blue? Perfect. So look at me, straight face. If the coin's in this hand, think white. If it's in this hand, think blue. Look at me, just think. Is it white? Just think. Or is it blue? I believe you're thinking white. The coin is here. Turn it over, let me see. Yes. But I was harder than Howard. Howard. Oh, I yeah, no, 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 you were much harder. I we'll do this harder. quicker, OK? So again, Heidi, if you would be so kind, hide it and your hand straight out in front of you. Those animals, any animal, go! <laughs> cat, cat or a cheetah. Cat or cheetah, it must be in one of your hands. Hold them straight out with absolute aggression, Heidi. I love it. Right. If the coin's in this hand, think cheetah. If it's in this hand, think cat. So look at me, really send the animal, OK? I am petrified. You are thinking, cat, the coin is here. Turn it over, open it up. Yes, two out of two, ladies and gentlemen. Good. That's right, so hard. Simon, would you be so kind? Behind your back, sir. Either hand, those names, any, any names, shout them in three, hold on. Charlie or, what was yours? Oscar. OK, Charlie or Oscar, hands out in front, straight face. If the coin is in this hand, think Charlie. If it's in this hand, think Oscar. And I get distracted sometimes when I do this. The blonde girl behind you is looking very nervous, hoping I don't reveal one of her embarrassing memories. Don't move. Look at me, are you thinking about a memory when you were a kid? But there's a name involved with this that you were thinking, and we've never met before. Be honest, we don't know each other. The last name, is it Miller? Yes, OK, right. So, Simon, if it's in this hand, it was Oscar, this hand, Charlie. You are thinking Oscar, the coin's here. Let me see, turn it over, open it up, let me see. Yes, Oscar, yes! But here's the thing. Before I walked onto this stage tonight, I had some ideas about the type of audience you were going to be, and I wrote them down on a scroll. Now, you guys could have shouted anything, or judges could have heard anything and picked anything, but tonight, you wanted the color white, you went with cat, and you picked Oscar. You will see, this scroll actually says that I, at Colin underscore Cloud, want you <laughs> to open the lid and tell everyone what's inside. I'm scared. Would you please stand up? Open the lid, I don't want to touch. Open, yep, yep, I'll take this. Open the lid. Open the lid, look inside. Open it. Oh my gosh. And inside of here is a white <laughs> hat. But wait, cameraman, would you come over here? The name tag also says Oscar. No. I need you right now, don't say it, but think of a unique word to describe you. Face me, put your two hands up like this. I need you to bring them a little bit closer. Close your eyes, don't move a muscle. Everyone else, shh, shh, shh. don't move. <laughs> Mel, you can open up your eyes, you can put your hands back down. This... Did you just lick my hand? You did. This didn't wipe you? is for you, but I'd be right in saying, just from the taste alone, recently, have you been eating eggs and the, the potato chips as well? Am I right? Yes! Yes. Okay, Harry, put your no. hand. No, I'm no, no. no, I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't dare. Don't touch Harry's hand! Harry, this is my iPhone. You are going to have to deduce the six digits that unlock it here. So press right now any six digits on there and tell us yes or no, did it open? Did it open? No. no. Of course not. OK, now, judges, I would love you three right now to think of any number between 1 and 10. Simon, what do you think the first digit is? 1. 1. Press 1. Perfect. Second digit. Heidi, what do you think the second digit is? 9. 9. Press it. 1. 1. Press 1. The last three you're going to get on your own. Right now, let me get into the mindset of Harry. 
Okay. <laughs> the last three digits, look at me, are going to pop into your head. Okay. Not yet. But okay. when they do, this is one in a million. So if he unlocks this, he's done it. Press the last three digits that you think unlock my code. Mm. Press them in. Whatever feels right, press. Yes! Oh! You got it! Oh, wow. Uh... Let's hear it for the world's newest mind reader, Harry Mandel! Oh, Harry, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Right there. But with you, you were thinking a secret. I don't think you would want everyone else to know it. I'm going to whisper it to you, but pinky promise this secret will never go any further, OK? The thing you're thinking is... Now, is that true? Yes! Oh. Yeah? And I didn't just whisper, act surprise, play along. That's that's genuine, yes? Oh, my God. And there's no way I could have found there's that on Twitter, no social way. media, anywhere. Good. There's no way. We'll keep that between us. We'll leave them wondering. Oh. But look right at me, Mel. Look at me. You thought of a word. Before you came out here, I gave out some letters to people in the audience. I don't want you to see them, so keep looking at me. Can I ask the guys over here who have the cards, stand up right now before Mel says her word, so that everyone knows this can't be changed. Would you all turn around your letters so that everyone else, no one say it, but I think this sums you up perfectly. Now, this is a free choice. You could have thought of tens of thousands of words. So tell us, what word are you thinking of to describe yourself right now? Well, for a start, I think every woman is this, but I think of myself as a goddess. Have a look. Shut up! No! How are you doing that? Oh, my God! Now, Simon, you're probably wondering why I haven't invited you onto the stage tonight. You see, tonight, Simon, I would love to share with America the most dangerous thing that I can do. Solving the murder of Simon Cowell. Right before it happened. So Mel, this is your chance to get some revenge. Can I ask you please to stand up for me? Yes, and yes. would you please point out anybody at all in the room that you don't know at random who will come up on stage to help? Anyone at all? Which, this which person? This lady right here on the second Right on the row. end. Would you yes. please stand up for us? This lady, is this who you would like, Mel? It yes. must be your choice. Yes. Would you make your way to the stage? And Mel, you can sit back down. Thank you. Now, while they make their way up, I need to ask the rest of you in the audience to think for me of any naughty or guilty memory of yours. Think of it in as much detail as you possibly can and hold that memory right at the very front of your mind. I'll be back with you in a second. Hi, very nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming up. Can I ask you to stand right here, please? What I would love you to do is to take this piece of paper, read it carefully, fill it in, Fold it up, but do not let anyone see it. That will be important. I'm going to ask you to turn away as well. So do that now. Just face this way. That's perfect. I'll be back with you in a second. Simon, while she does that, can I ask you please to say stop as I move my hand any time? Tonight. <laughs> any time. Just say stop. Stop. Right here. That's perfect. That's great. The lady blonde hair, would you please stand up for me? Just confirm. Uh, we don't know each other. Are you thinking of something right now? Yes. Just to confirm, you haven't told this to anyone. You're only thinking of it right now in this moment. Say nothing. But this is something that happened when you were younger, yes? This is something you were outside. Does that make sense? And other people have seen this happen, and you, they've laughed at you. You're thinking there's an animal involved. Does that make sense? Yes. Really? And you're camping. Is that what you're thinking? You're camping with your friends, and something's happened with a dog. Am I correct in saying that you're thinking whilst you were camping, this dog has bitten you on your butt? Yes. yes. Is that what you were thinking? Yeah. Yes. yes. Then you can sit back down. What's, uh, what's hilarious is the guy in front with red shorts. You're now thinking the exact same thing has happened to you. Is that what you just thought? Yes. Yes, yeah, stop that. This is her moment, OK? But thank you. Uh, <laughs> The point is, every single person in this room, at some point in your life, something naughty or embarrassing has happened to you. But tonight, the naughtiest person 
is going to be this lady here. You've uh, you filled that in, yes? Uh, you can throw the pen away, get rid of the pen, just throw the pen right into the audience. Perfect. Hold on to that, because what I would love you to do is choose one of these five potential murder weapons this evening, okay? I don't want anyone to see which one you choose, so we are going to cover them, but would you please come drop your piece of paper there? Think of one of the five colors. In a moment, you'll take it off, but while she does that, Mel, could I ask you please to join us on stage and stand right behind Simon, okay? Now, whilst Mel makes Makes her way up. Thank you, Mel. Think of one of those knives. I want you to, whichever color you're thinking of, peel that knife off and hide it behind your back so that no one sees which color you have. Shout, done when you have done that. Perfect. Come and face me. Keep the knife behind your back. Keep it hidden. Look at me and let's see what I can deduce about you. Think about your name, first of all. Think of your name. Is your name something like? Kirsty. Yes, let's confirm this. Your name is? Kirsty. Kirsty, right, okay. Think of what you do. Don't say it, just think. You're, uh, you're a student, yes? Yeah. Can you think of what you're studying for me, please? Just think. Are you studying physical therapy? <laughs> Kind of. Yeah. Yes, okay, good. That's perfect. Think about the reason you're thinking for killing Mr. Cowell tonight. Just think of it. This involves a celebrity, yes? Yes. Yes. Not a man, is it? Yeah. Yes. Would I be correct in saying that tonight you're thinking the reason you would like to kill Mr. Cowell is because he stole your entire collection of Justin Bieber CDs? <laughs> yes. Is that what you're thinking? Exactly. Yes. Then if I've read you correctly, right now you should have taken the white knife. Bring it out and let me see if that's correct. Yes, it is the white knife. You can now flee the scene. You're free to go because Mel... It is the white knife, but this is your moment. Please hold that knife high up in the air. Hold it high up in the air, Mel. And right now, Mel, I would love you, please, to plunge that knife Are into Simon Cowell's chest. <laughs> OK. It's not working. No, yes. I've got it. I'm dead. Sorry, yes, I meant to say, I apologize. Uh, you panicked there, Simon. It is, uh, it is a rubber knife. Sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry. Obviously, Mel, we couldn't kill Simon in front of a live studio audience, but whilst the knife was fake, the motive was real. Now, Mel, <laughs> good to double check. You've really, Mel. You've really got everything out tonight. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Simon, right? family show. Gosh. Mel, yeah. you could have picked anyone and they could have chosen any reason, but of course, the reason I deduced that they were thinking for killing Simon is because he stole all of their Justin Bieber CDs. That's what she wrote, and that is exactly what I said, okay? Now, yes. what, makes this, what makes this more interesting, though, is that I knew exactly the type of person who would want to kill Simon Cowell long before I came on the show. Simon, you've been sat on that bench this entire time. Can I please ask you to slide to your left? Because, Simon, you will see that the plaque engraved on the bench that you've been sat in front of this entire time clearly states, in loving memory of Simon Cowell, killed because he stole their entire collection of <laughs> Justin Bieber That's CDs. Crazy. That is crazy! My God! But. What I hope you're more delighted with is the choice of weapon. You see, the truth is, that was the only rubber knife. No! You see, Mel, if you'd stabbed Simon with any of these tonight, oh! you would have been the person Gosh, on live TV you? to have killed she gone? Simon Cowell. God. That's the way it goes. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Tonight, for the semi-final, I want to up the ante and do something quite literally with all of you. And this started a few weeks ago when I put out a message on the AGT Twitter account asking everyone to respond with a random celebrity, city, and object in one tweet. We got thousands and thousands of responses, so we printed them all out and we've given them to everyone here tonight in the theater. And this evening, I risk my future in this competition on the fact I can correctly predict what the judges will choose here tonight, that city, celebrity, and object. And just so you appreciate how difficult it is, I've done the math for you. When you multiply all the cities by celebrities by objects, it's over one in 43 quadrillion. Specifically, 
that. You get the idea, it's freaking hard. But I will not be making any of the choices tonight. It's over to the judges. So everyone in the theater, pick up your tweets, have a look, and just cheer if you can see all the tweets on your sheets are different. Perfect. And there are no duplicates, but it's crucial that everyone at home knows this as well. But again, I won't be making any decisions. The judges will. So Howie and Simon, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to run and grab the tweets from as many people in the audience as you would like. So guys, your time starts now. Five more seconds, guys. What? And your time is up as quickly as you can. Please hand all of them to Mel. Hand them to Mel. Thank you, Mel. Mel, if you would just quickly look through them and just confirm that the tweets are all different. I know we've checked in the audience, but just have a look. You can see, and we're going to double check in a second, but they look different, yes? yes and we will different. check in a moment. Turn them all face down for me and scatter them across the desk. Mel, you seem quite intuitive, so I'd love you to hand me, just hold your hand over, you give me the one that feels right to you. Which one do you feel we will use? This one right here. Heidi, would you please stand up for me? You're gonna make the final choice here. You can see all the tweets are different, so like Chicago, Chandelier, but this tweet's different to this tweet, different to this tweet. Make sense? Yep. Heidi, you only yes. get to choose one. As I move my fingers around slowly, you will say stop whenever you like. Make sure I stop where you say stop. So whenever you'd like, Heidi, you say stop. stop. Right there. Yeah. Would you please, it's on the left, would you please read God. those choices? Can you see? Ellen Rome Cheese. Ellen Rome Cheese, Ellen Rome Cheese. You can sit back down. Okay. Can you guys turn those over and just quickly see if that combination comes up anywhere else? Ellen Rome Cheese. If you still have your photos right now, can you also check in the audience? Just check and see. Yeah, let's get some right down here. Uh, just double check. Can you see anywhere, Howie? Oh. Anywhere? Um, I've no? got Simon Cowell, London Handsome. Okay, but it's a... <laughs> Ooh, I have Zach Which Efron. is great, but it's not the tweet we're looking for. Ellen Rome Cheese. Audience, does anyone have that combination? No, no, no. It was just you, Heidi. Just you. Ellen Rome and Cheese. And even though I made this as random as I possibly could, that is the exact combination I wanted you to pick. So well done. Wait, I knew you'd never believe that, right? So before I even sent out that tweet, I filmed something because I knew exactly how America would respond and I knew exactly how the four of you would choose things this evening. So quite simply, watch this. Come on. Hi America, Colin Cloud here, and on September 12, 2017, I will make our judges choose from the quadrillions of possibilities Cheese, Rome, and Ellen. Of course, I'm sure me recording this on a video is not enough to convince you, so I'm gonna go undercover through our judges' lives and leave proof. Let's see if they pay attention to it. I'll tell you something, I'm electrified. I can't wait to get to work, I wanna judge. Hey Heidi, we wanna test your earpiece really quickly. Talk about going on the Ellen show. Uh, I'm doing Ellen on Monday. Perfect, Heidi, thank you very much. Hey man, what can I get for you? I'm gonna go for the stand burger. And is that with cheese? Uh, okay, I'll have cheese. Mel, I need to check your audio. Can you say Rome quickly, Mel? Say Rome. Rome. Rome, one more time. Rome. Here we okay, go. Okay, cheese on three. One, one two, three. Cheese. Cheese. Could you say hi to our friends Ellen and Romeo? Yeah, Ellen and Romeo, why don't you call me anymore? <laughs> Are we ready? And sound speed. But the reality is none of you observe because even the numbers that have been on display this entire time clearly spell cheese, Rome, and Ellen. Thank you, judges. Thank you, America. Good night. Hi, hi. It's Ty Ty. Thanks for watching AGT Online and on TV. Continue to watch more talent right now. And don't forget to subscribe.